The great Australian dream is to live by the ocean. Imagine waking up to a view like this every morning. Clear blue sparkling water and fresh air. What more could you want? The downside to living next to the beach, if you could call it that, is trying to get plants to grow with that fantastic wind we have on the coast. You might remember at the beginning of the year, Yates ran a WaterWise gardening competition where you could win a WaterWise consultation and $1,000 worth of gardening products. Well, here we are at Claire Marano's house. Congratulations. Thank you very How much. exciting. I can see you've already started. Yes, I'm aerating the lawn at the moment. Well, you find that the water just runs off this area? Yeah, it goes onto the brickwork instead of the grass. It's a great idea to aerate the lawn at the moment because any water goes to the plant's roots. And the next thing you might need to do is also add a wetting agent. OK. Wetting agents break down the waxy coating of the soil that forms when it gets very dry, allowing the water to penetrate deeper to the root zone where it's needed. To do just really so this area has always been a problem uh, around this spa. We planted it in May um, 99 and wanted it lush, put in the palms and they really haven't come good and I don't know, what can you Need help? Need some help. <laughs> <laughs> now, does it get full sun in summer? Summer, full sun, bakes right there. Those bamboo palms will never do very well. They, they do better in shade. So I recommend removing those and replacing them with some of the gorgeous yuccas that are available at the moment, cordylions, and even the green leaf dracaena. Now, they'll give you a beautiful, lush, tropical look, but also be very water-wise. But one thing I have noticed is this Hibertia has thrip damage. Okay. And what you need to do is to Cut it back completely, improve the soil. You may need to control it with Confidor and really fertilise it and get it growing nice and strong because it makes the most beautiful ground cover around here with bright yellow flowers. Okay, thanks. For such an exposed situation, this garden really is a credit to you. Oh, thank you. It took us a while to figure out which plants to use, but the mirror bush and the diosima have are really hardy and are doing really well. And I've noticed the Indian hawthorn and the native rosemary. They also look spectacular. Yes, they're doing great. If you're like Claire and need some help in your garden, why not join our garden club at thegardengurus.tv. One of the most popular features of the garden club is getting your gardening questions answered by the gurus. We want you to have the best waterwise garden possible, which leaves more time to do all the fantastic things you want to. Beauty.